What is epic doom metal? Put simply, Epic Doom is a combination of doom metal and power metal. However, it is more than the sum of its parts. Candlemass is the iconic Epic Doom metal band. However, there are bands that blend power metal with doom metal that are not epic doom. I just want a little fire. Black Sabbath went in a different direction when they replaced Ozzy Osbourne with Ronnie James Dio as the vocalist. The album, Heaven and Hell, could be said to be a mix of doom metal and power metal. And yet, that album has more in common with Iron Maiden than Candlemass. It is far too upbeat and rock and roll to be considered Epic Doom. It is still great, but Epic Doom is something else entirely. To directly compare them, Solitude Eternus actually covered the song Heaven and Hell. And even in this, you can hear some differences between the two. Epic doom metal is much more gloomy and theatrical than traditional doom metal. The original material of Solitude Eternus should make my point. I'm just a It's usually even slower than Trad Doom. The vocals are almost operatic and given more opportunity to shine than other types of doom metal. With the strength of an angel. As for the guitar, there is more contrast. There are typically clean acoustic sections. as well as a heavier, more grim tone that has a great crunch to it. Epic Doom also contains these little whimsical flourishes, which I'm sure seems kind of lame to people, but I do like it. It adds to the story-like quality of the songs. Please let me die Sorcerer is another great band of this style. These three titans make up the big three of epic doom metal. Unlike the, that's a bummer man, attitude of trad doom. Epic Doom is much more pre-modern in its aesthetic and themes. In other words, Trad Doom is modernist, while Epic Doom is more romantic. For instance, compare Black Sabbath's War Pigs to Sorcerer's The Battle. The famous Sabbath tune is much more in touch with our modern sentiments. It is about how politicians use people as pawns, and that war is simply a means for personal gain and political power. It is not so surprising then that this idea resonated with the anti-Vietnam War sentiments that the boomer generation had in the 1970s. 
However, the sorcerer tune views war less cynically, and embodies a warrior spirit that finds it rather noble to die in battle, and that even in the face of defeat, one can remain triumphant. Will I take the defeat? Or will I try The only role I want to want is the one to the battle of glory. These worldviews are at odds with each other. But I'd like to stress that it would be too simplistic to call the sorcerer outlook naive and childish, or the Sabbath outlook cowardly. I think these are context-dependent, and I believe that leaning too far one way or the other can be problematic. However, I do think these outlooks are portrayed by Trad Doom and Epic Doom respectively. I have been criticized for suggesting that lyrical themes are intrinsically tied to sounds and genres. I mean, theoretically, you should be able to put any random lyrical themes to any genre right? If you view it in a strictly left-brained manner, I mean, what's stopping you from singing about burritos or vacuum cleaners? But the thing is, that even if you try to attempt something like this, the music itself can change the context of the lyrics. For example, if you put the lyrics of Drowning Pool's Let the Bodies Hit the Floor to dance music, it would not change the music, the music would change the lyrical meaning. Likewise, if you put the lyrics to Never Gonna Give You Up to an epic doom metal tune, it would change it from corny pop lyrics to a pledge of loyalty. The fantasy vibe of epic doom in intrinsically affects the music's lyrical themes. If you tried to subvert it by singing WAP over a epic doom metal track, the humor would come from the juxtaposition between the genre's meaning and the crude lyrics. Because the music has intrinsic meaning already, our minds would recognize the disconnect between them, and it either just wouldn't work, or it would end up becoming a new genre. So I stand by the fact that art styles have an inherent meaning to them, and distinct themes. Jazz, country, and hip-hop all have a unique vibe to them, and this can extend all the way down to each micro-genre of metal. Epic Doom's theme is in its name. It's epic. It's fantastical, mystical, adventurous. The river dragon has come, souls wash away. The earth has spoken and taken them to their graves. So, so But it's still doomy, melancholic, and jam-packed with sorrow. Nothing's forever, so count your days. Why, why'd you have to leave me? The medium is the message. This is the perfect musical accompaniment for a playthrough of Dark Souls, the sound equivalent to the 80s dark fantasy aesthetic. Beyond the titans from the 80s, however, epic doom bands from the 2000s onward took the style in a more progressive and symphonic direction. The most notable, most likely being While Heaven Wept. Epic Doom seems to be becoming one of my favorite styles, so I am going to share some lesser known newer bands of the genre that I've been enjoying lately. First, Forsaken. This one has a lot of symphonic and death metal influence. Second, Bell. This one has a bit of prog and post-metal influence. The vocals remind me of James Labrie from Dream Theater, and some of the instrumentation brings Mastodon to mind. Third, Procession. This is probably the most straightforward of the three, taking some influence from traditional doom metal. I will also argue that the band Nevermore could also be considered epic doom.
albeit with some progressive metal and groove metal leanings. They embody the pre-modern spirit having to break free of this modernist prison, a condition that many people can relate to today. Epic Doom is the music of the tragic hero, the tale of an adventurer embarking on a quest from which they most likely will not return. So my friends, as you search for more tunes through your travels, I hope you've enjoyed this bit of respite by the fire. Stay a while if you like, enjoy the aura, or be on your way and do as the gods have planned. Our acculturation continues. Next up is Death Doom. Praise the sun, and don't you dare go hollow.